King James Bible. I'm going to bring you a little message on Hebrews chapter 12. Uh, you see my chart here. The Bible talks about if you're a child of God, according to John 1, 12, the Bible says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You can become a son of God by simply trusting the Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 3 says we are all sons of God by faith in Jesus Christ. So you can become a child of God by just trusting Christ instead of your religion or Sabbath sacraments and commandments or baptism or you're joining a church. You can become a Christian, a child of God, by simply trusting Christ as your personal Savior. Now the Lord Jesus Christ will take you out of a repentant heart. He takes you after you receive Him. And once that is done, the covenant is made. God makes you a child of God. Now I want you to look at this chart here. Once you are God's child, you are no longer Satan's child. Once you are God's child, you are no longer Satan's child. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44, in John 8, 44, it says, You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father he, you will do. That's John 8, 44. You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. Well, once you receive Christ as your personal Savior, you are no longer a child of the devil. You're no longer going where the devil is going. You're no longer a child in, of that family of the devil. You are now a child of God. You are now going where the children of God are going. And you are now God's own property. The Bible talks about you are children of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now that I've said that, you are his child you are no longer property of Satan. When I was in the military, they called us GIs, government issue. We were owned by the military. We were issues of the government, government issue. Well, you are owned by God when you receive Christ as your personal savior. Now here, I have a chart. It talks about the angel throwing people into the lake of fire in Matthew 21 and 22. Now the Bible talks about hell being for gods of this world, children. But you say, Brother Jim, God is a special place for sinning Christians? How can they be a Christian and go to hell? That's what I want to tell you. They're name only Christians. They're TV Christians. They're not real Christians. You see the verse of scripture here? Living proof. Living proof, Hebrews 12, 8. The Bible says about being a child of God. If ye be, if ye be without chastisement as a child of God. Do you pretend to be a Christian? If ye be without chastisement, then ye are masters and not sons. You are illegitimate. You're not a real child of the Father. You are a B-A-S-T-A-R-D. And I remember a preacher down there in South Carolina, he preached a message on B-A-S-T-A-R-D Baptists. He said they're filling the churches with lost people, and this is where they're going. Now you, my friend, you can live in sin, but if you're sinning like you're drinking in the closet and nobody knows you're drinking, you're a closet drinker. If you're smoking on the side, defiling your temple as a Christian, or if you're drinking in the closet, you're a closet drinker, or maybe you're a closet fornicator, uh, you're sexually active, sexually active, but nobody knows, but nobody knows, and God is not taking his stick to you. God is not taking his stick to you. Terry. Terry. God is not taking his stick to you and you're sexually active in secret, then you are not a child of God. You are what this talks about, a B-A-S-T-A-R-D. You're not a legitimate child of God. And I'm not trying to upset you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to give you just something 
to alarm you. I'm trying to tell you, you can become a real Christian. A real Christian. You don't trust your Sabbath, sacraments, or commandments. You don't trust uh, baptism or church membership. You trust Christ alone to wash away your sins, and he'll take you to heaven because you're no longer a child of the devil when you're a child of God. And God chastens his children because he loves them. Not to destroy or distraught or distress, but he chastens his children to grow them. I deserve chastening. When he chastens me in my mind, I know immediately exactly why I'm getting chastened. He's a good father. He tells you what he's doing. Won't you receive Christ before it's too late? You cannot get away. Be sure your sin will find you out. Be sure my sin will find me out. It's real. It's not fake. Thank you. Thank you.